at a point where I'd really like a genuinely nice guy that I can have wildly delicious sex with, but one that sees me as a complete well-rounded person rather than an exotic vacation in Thailand. (laughs) It would be nice to talk and laugh and have ice cream in addition to hot sex. Again. (laughs) Teach him to talk and laugh and have ice cream. Teach him how to have sex with with you. With you. Yeah. That is the number one. You're lucky if you find somebody who gets it the first time. But it's normally a hiccup, right? Clumsy for a while, especially in the beginning. Good then unless you're lucky. I have to say I've been lucky. You've been lucky. <laughs> I've been lucky. You, actually you've been with uh, especially of uh, great lovers. I mean that and that sort of thing dating in Kenya is hard. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like a, like you have to decide to dedicate some of your technique and experience to the art of pleasure, self pleasure and other pleasure, other person pleasure. But there's not enough of that. As guys, our idea of self pleasure is going to a bar, catching a few drinks, fungaing a chips, kafunga, going home, kamataing it properly, throwing it out, and we're all right. Are <laughs> yeah, we not? yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she, she, you're a hopeless romantic. You definitely have to find the person that you want to be with, and you your heart will lead you and then the rest of the stuff you just kind of have to guide your and way be v- but also be very like i'm so glad we're filming because i do this a lot when we're recording and then people can't see like my <laughs> hand movements i'm like you know you know like <laughs> I <can't say. laughs> but she also has to uh... okay so there's types of people Right, you meet a person and you can you get to you start getting to know them and you start seeing signs and clues about whether this person gets you or doesn't get you is patient is controlling is prone to angry outbursts is prone to patience is he tolerant is he considerate is he compassionate is he a great communicator and, does he yeah and on your list if those things are on your list and I was reading somewhere about when you're writing your list like write the whole list. And then cancel like half of them. And so you, and then you from- definitely have your non-negotiable. Mm. So my two things that are the most important to me in my life is that my partner is compassionate. Compassion is so important. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Considerate, compa- yes. And respectful. Yeah. Respect is so important because if you find a man who can respect, who is respectful, then he respects your boundaries. He respects his family. He respects yours. He, res- you know. And then if you find somebody that's compassionate, I just I need to find somebody that's an animal lover. I think if somebody loves animals, then then that shows compassion mm. for me. Like if you love animals, then that's my compassionate. I'm just yeah. like weak and rock. But then that translates or manifests into so many other because compassion towards animals or compassion towards you, compassion towards his family, then that's something that you see as sustainable. This is going to be sustainable throughout the relationship. The problem is we we, we ignore these signs. Like yes, he could start off on the first week or the first two weeks of the relationship putting his best foot forward or yeah. the first six months his best foot forward and he's always petting the dogs and any then once you're peeping out of the window and he's, and, kicking, and it. he's kicking it. And then you're like, oh, he must have had a bad day. I will forget about that. Mm. He must have had a bad day. But that's a thing. Mm. That's a thing. Because that means that he's pretending something that's not actually true to his nature. Or that he has a, a, he's prone to, even in his moments of loving and compassion and all that stuff, he's prone to violence towards something that, mm. that he would respond tenderly towards. Mm-hmm. That's something that you take into. Because where does it manifest in the relationship? Mm-hmm. And if you're not looking at these signs and ticking the things off your list, as you say, but also taking note of these negative things, it's like, I meet this guy and I smoke and I drink and I drink my coffee, but I'm also a health freak and I run and I do yoga and I meditate and he's a health freak and he does yoga and he does meditation and he's like, you know, you have to cut down one of your uh, addiction like either cut down your cigarettes or cut down your caffeine and i'm like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like who are you who are you <laughs> yeah. in the sphere of this woman here yeah. who are you mm-hmm. you have to remind someone i'm a grown adult i made my decisions i'm not looking for you to come and raise me by the way that's a thing i'm not looking for you to come and change my life i'm looking for you to partner so accept me with my poisons because mm. i know my poisons and i'm accepting of them mm. and i'm not going to quit it because you decide that it's time for me to quit that's a sign mm. that this is someone who will want to control certain choices that i want to make and for me it's like hey okay i've been with control freaks 
I've seen this trend before and then I've seen it escalate. The more he possesses, mm-hmm. the more the, the control. The more he possesses, the more the control. So the minute you call himself, the minute you call yourself his girlfriend, his wife, his fiance, whatever, he just gets more control, gets mm. more control. That's not the kind Those of Those are the people who come with a ring in three months. It's like, I want you to be mine. Yeah. I'm in madly in love with you in two days. Okay, Kusha Maneno. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so guys, we're gonna do this every week. Please send us um, your questions on email at the spread, the spread Kenya at gmail.com. And please tune into our podcast. I'm gonna click all of the links. Let you go inside to the places I wanna hide. I don't want nobody else seeing me naked, but I'll risk it for you. I want you to take it.